Hey guys, it's Vmasters Reactions, and we're back with episode 109, Mighty Nine Time for Campaign 2, Frigid Propositions. I was just saying in the Patreon hour, I took a break, changed my shirt, I saw Sam Regal up here, and in the Patreon hour, I also said, if you guys know who is the one behind him holding that mask, my guess is Marisha. Why? I don't know. I just feel like it is a thin hand like a woman's hand even though some of these guys might have thin hands i don't know it just looks like the hand of a woman and i feel like marisha would be the one to go behind and sam is hysterically laughing so i feel like if anybody it's marisha you let me know if we even know who it is but frigid propositions is an interesting title i don't know of anything that happened in the patreon hour that would make that title make sense. So it's either going to happen in the next 10 minutes or in the live stream, because even though we have about 25 minutes to the break, I'm only going to do half that for the YouTube video and add the other half to the live stream, because without adding it, we're only going to have an hour and a half. I like to have two hours. I don't want to give all the time to the live stream. And even if I did all the time, we wouldn't even have two hours. So no sense in doing that. I also like to have a YouTube video, even if it's 12 minutes. By the time we do the intros and exits and everything, it's roughly 20 minutes long, and we'll at least get to see where I'm at as far as thoughts on the Patreon hour. These are my thoughts. All we really did was shop a lot more, because in the live stream, we did 30 minutes. We hit 50 likes this week, and it was a lot of shopping. We bought diamonds and paper and everything else. Caleb obviously bought the paper. But in the Patreon hour, Yasha and Ford went into a shop. We spent like 20 plus minutes negotiating a fire resistant ring, 10 what they called grenades, but it's alchemical fire that we could use like a fire blast or an explosion. And we got two more healing potions. So we got a bunch of everything now. That was all the dude had. We also got the name Sutan. Now, as soon as we heard it, I think it was Dredic or Dredic Sutan, Lord Dredic Sutan. I could be saying that wrong. But the important part is the Sutan part. As soon as I heard the name, I'm like, Sutan, that rings a bell. As I'm saying it, Bo, aka Marisha, and I think Sam were like, I think we know Sutan. So the fact that I thought that was ringing a bell and they thought it at the same time, I still don't know the connection and I don't want to look it up because if I look it up, it'll probably spoil something for me because if I type in Sutan, it's probably going to give me whatever is coming up if it is something to come up in the future. So I'm assuming it's a connection. It even looked like Matt made a face like you're onto something, but I don't want to tell you. So I'm just saying that right now there was more involved with it like ford wanted the ring was willing to pay full price then we decided against it because yasha kind of got in his ear like are you sure you want to spend five thousand gold originally the dude said you have to beat the offer of five thousand and then was like all right fine five thousand then ford agreed then he backed off then the dude gave us a deal where we'd get all of the grenades and the healing potions included in the five grand and then we decided against it again. Then Ford later on, after other things happened, went back and got the name Sutan. So all this happened. Then we went and visited Yeza and Luke. That was adorable and cute. We went and visited Ruby. And she talked about how the gentleman didn't visit, but she would like him to maybe stop by for a chat and a glass of wine. We didn't do anything else with that. But I assume sometime soon, if not in the live stream, that Jester is going to do sending to make that uh, uh, happen, she'll probably be like, yeah, come visit my mom or I'll kill you or something like that. But Ruby said, make it subtle. So maybe for the sake of her mother, she'll make it subtle. Then we ended it with Caleb saying that he now has the ability to bring us back and forth to our home whenever we want to, once or twice a day, but preferably on days we don't need magic. We then teleport to Archivist. I can't remember the name, something with a K. Either way, we teleported back to Rexictrum and left Veth with her family because she's like, I don't need to research. I don't need to do anything. So we gave fair warning to everybody. We gave forewarning to Yusa. We gave forewarning to Archivist Cathodoc or something like that. Why am I brain farting on the name? But either way, that's where we're at now. We were, a, well, no, we're not there yet. We're doing the teleportation circle and about to go there. And that's where I stopped. So 
You guys want to see more of what I do in the description of every video is a link for Patreon. You'll see the Patreon hour exclusive for every episode of Campaign 2, hundreds of other movies and shows, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Jackie Chan movies every month. We're currently doing every week on the days they come out, Shogun, Delicious in Dungeon, X-Men 97, and Hell of a Boss is already out, but I'm adding that to the bunch. And Adventure Time is still dropping on Mondays, which I finished years ago. But we're almost finally done with the edits because we were doing twice as many episodes on Patreon. Hundreds of other movies and shows in the description link for Patreon. Full unedited everything, if not episode 109, Mighty Nine Time. Multiple layers Here we go. of... I almost missed the black with that. We're only doing 12 minutes, but I just talked for eight years, so... spirals out like the slowly dispersing elements of a light cable that continues to swirl. And I'm wearing my knot shirt right, because like lighting it's Sam long, and I don't have a vest shirt. Glyph. Suddenly it ignites. <laughs> and as it does, it brightens and that familiar moment hits where you realize you have but seconds to charge through. And so you, Veth, watch as your friends. Veth is staying behind. All vanish into the circle before it. Its energy disperses and it is gone. And you are left alone with your family. We were deciding whether or not to, to <laughs> we stay an extra day, cafe. but it makes no <laughs> sense to stay another day when we have nothing well, first, to do in Nicodronis and Nott has nothing okay. to do. Anyway, that we're we're fantasy going in Rex and Yeah, it is. Yeah, really. We also we had to like give a... plus three. How did that happen? Yes's well, thong to Caleb. You get amazing seats for you and your family. Uh, uh, amazing seats. Incredible ocean amazing view. Seats. The best server. Ceviche. Ceviche. I love ceviche. Fuck, that sounds good. Ceviche is quite lovely. And you guys have told me Sam's mother in law, I believe it is, is a chef. Uh, greeted and they're quite the wealthy, so he's older, used to the finer things. Uh, ceviche is quite lovely. I mean, it's not. And it looks like one of the. Cathedoc. Cathedoc. Archivist Cathedoc. All right. You've arrived. It is a pleasure. Um. Um, the archive is yours, Expositor. Thank you, Archivist. Do you know if uh, the High Curator is in? Indeed. Yeah? Would you wish to speak to them? Yes. Yeah. No, I just wanted yeah. to know. Right, well then, uh, follow me. All right. I, was, I mean, uh, Caleb, come with me. Specifics, I guess, but it's always funny to me. Hey, is so and so here? Um, yeah, he is. You want to talk to him? Once again, like, you no, were in a bit of a I rush last time you guys got here. Stupid questions. Uh, your last experience in. Like, I feel like if Rex someone asked that, it's understood you, that you want to. I mean, under a certain level of I could be wrong. I mean, um, maybe that's but me. But as you of walk back up the stairs, because you could, could just be wondering, like, no, 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 don't let him. I mean, yeah, it could be that too. I apologize. You could be like, no, 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 do not let him know I'm here. God forbid he sees me. Hates me. No, that okay, was a dad. No, but it, right. but it, but but it is it in the vicinity. This is where you arrived last time during the Mind you, mounting. I've had a lot to drink. Um, and we're in like our fourth hour of Critical Role. Cerulean glass that I did colors four straight hours. I took a break to eat, and that was it. And at moments, it and I changed my shirt to purple in spaces. Um, you can see tier upon tier upon tier what looks to be almost a, a three to four story in we did some places. Almost library. a three hour live Each stream itself is a jumped right into the Patreon hour. We're, shelf of we're books going on of four all and a half sizes hours. and colors and ages. The these areas, these railings are open to leave this large atrium in the center of this library, like a giant horseshoe shape where this this massive stacked library itself sits around. And the stonework itself has this beautiful kind of Gray blue hue to it, the floor itself, this stunning marble, polished. And throughout it, there are small bursts of fern and potted plants that give a burst of life and color to the interior. The smell itself is clean and kept. This is a beautiful place. Clean and, and kept. Uh, it's not very populated. You can see there are a few individuals that are making their way through the various uh, archives, each one accompanied by one of the various uh, curators uh, of the library itself, as no one is to be left untended. And this is but one section of the library, but it is the one that you are at, as you are brought uh, to the atrium. Cathedoc wanders off for a moment, <clears throat> and a few moments later, returns with a familiar figure. You see the uh, the half-elven uh, individual that you met in the throne room briefly, or saw in the throne room while you were speaking to King Duan. I recall himself. such things. This is the High Curator Udala Fon. Udala Fon. As they approach, kind of giving a quick glance, I feel over is that the name I kept saying? Bilan's Sounds very Star Wars esque. Udalafon. 
and, and I'm sure there's long, a lot of names in elegant, this that sounds uh, Star Wars esque. But like with blue certain names robes, have like a sci-fi uh, ring to like, them to me. Uh, at first, just a dormant. I feel like it was Udalafon. Within it, each has. Uh, almost a, a bit of scripture that is rolled up onto it and sealed within a glass case. There, these are reliquaries of some kind that are, complete, are worn in a ceremonial way by the high archivist, or the high curator. High cur I was going to say, as you it's his high curator, and kind of but I hear a high archivist. Uh, the short, red, fiery hair itself, just kind of almost barely catching the right eye. Uh, they smile and... I'm very curious to see what Bo has to God. say. Lionhead, yes? Yes. Expositor of the Zadash archive. Yeah. Damn, your memory's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Udalafon. I feel like a person of this stature and level notice. would definitely I have a good have memory. opportunity yet to, one, thank you for what you aided in not long ago. Yeah, it was a bit chaotic last time we came through. Indeed. Sorry. No need to apologize. How's the uh, the damage to the city? Doing better? The city has seen far worse before. Uh, this <laughs> was thankfully kept to a minimum because of the expeditious arrival of you and I like that answer. And the How's the city doing? Be We've seen worse. Exactly. That's like not a great way Seems to put it, but also, and I guess, pretty honest. Kind of think moment in reading your files uh, there is much spoken highly from Dairon of your work oh uh, Dairon <laughs> didn't expect anything. yeah well oh uh, great along but with quite a layer of impetuous I would be like uh, when's the last you seen or heard of Dairon which is we have not talked about to Dairon in a That's while Dairon said I think it's kind of been working out you know I thought we were going to ask. Have a crew here that keeps a good head on your shoulders. Yeah, yeah, they keep me alive and somewhat sane. I'd like <laughs> I to mean, that that's true. For them too, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's hard to say, yeah. I'm excited to see how much you will continue to grow from here. I'm already extremely impressed. Oh, well, thank, thank you, thank Udala. You. Um, is it well, Udala or Udala? I think it's Udala, mm -hmm. but I, it almost looks what? like you could say Udala Fon. This is Udala Fon sounds cooler though. Well, hmm. y you see, we've um, kind of ping ponged to a bunch of places really quickly. We just got back from the middle of the Lucidian Ocean, like yesterday. So, uh, I want to know about yeah, the nine so, eyes. This right, Udala seems very educated. Be difficult, you may find yourself and has a great memory. We already declared right about these things. The Let's ask about the nine eyes. Well, I've said to put on my robes before I come. I thought you said you put on your original one. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, no, Bo, I, I know for a fact she did okay. say, I'm putting <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my gear. I got it. I got it. I'm but putting on my, them, my yeah. good yeah. gear, the okay. gear that you want me to be wearing. Regardless, you requested my presence. What can hopefully the archive help with? <clears throat> yeah, we um cross paths with. Explain the whole thing. Something beyond this realm. Quite. Quite. We asked you, sir, during the Patreon yeah. hour, I believe and it was. Or maybe it was the. From the was it the live city? stream? Abyssal we asked you, sir, and you said had no know. clue. I thought you would have an idea. He came from the He was like, uh, <laughs> that's what he did. He did that face. It, yeah, whatever it was, who went by the name Vokodo. And. Ringing bells? Yeah. Crash landed on the island of Rexentrum. I want to see no Matt's reactions to every word. Cusp. We are in Rexentrum. Thank you. <laughs> you see you all are trying to follow. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I saw yeah, let's not get confusing. What, what was this creature? Some tentacle monster what looking octopus oh, yeah, thing. He was like a big fire creature that kind of looked like dried magma, so like mm. fire poking out, and he had lots of arms, and he lived underwater. Also shadow and... Yeah. Difficult to see. Tendrils. A few eyes. Four, four eyes? Four eyes, yeah. Four, four eyes. Entry into tendrils. 
plane of existence like an, shattered it where he fell. I mean, he was underwater, kind of like an octopus. I feel like in, different in some planes weird way, all across the island, like he had broken. I mean, it something. was weird. We it's nothing we can really describe unless you've he heard it or seen it before. Him of him fleeing a giant moving city in the Astral Sea. And the phrase, nine I, eye. the nine eyes, more or less manifested in all Not giving us any places. sort of inkling with his facial expressions. When she says expressions. a moving living city, it was like the most terrifying, horrible moving living city you could ever imagine. You know, like it felt like the buildings were organic, like, thinking and moving on their own. Bleeding. Bleeding. Breathing. Like breathing. And the phrase was, uh, eyes, eyes of nine, nine, specifically. Anything? Disquieting, to say the least. But any thoughts? And you require research assistance on this, yes? Yes. Mm. I will give my best scholars on it. Thank you. We, have well, we didn't really get we any. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very well. We should contact her. Or, well, you, she can contact You can respond to messages. I can respond to messages. You can contact me, yeah. Then yeah. we will continue with and that. And then she can contact you back, yeah. Of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I will get on to this. Uh, I do have business to attend to. It is a pleasure to see all of you. All right, and we got someone on the move. Thank you. Thank you, High Curator. Thank you, High Curator. For your wonderful time spent that with us. That was quick and easy. <laughs> the, the pleasure is mine. Bows we just keep bowing. Lower, like, and then we bow lower. And follow. What is this from? I feel like that's from a movie. We just keep bowing lower. And they immediately turn and kind of <laughs> march off to their business as you watch them kind of begin to point out and call over a few individuals and essentially begin prepping them on what is the requested intent of your arrival. Cool. All right, guys, I know that was a short period of time, but I wanted to only do 10 or 12 minutes, and I'm afraid we're about to jump back into something else. We ended with the curator already, so I was like, all right, I feel like the curator will be a good way to do a quick little YouTube video. It honestly began and ended way quicker than I thought. I thought Udala Thon, which is the coolest name ever. I feel like that is one of the coolest names yet. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, whether or not that is the name I said was very Star Wars-esque. I said it in the episode itself, but I feel like that is the name because I'm trying to think of what the name is if that isn't it, and that sounds the most like it. But either way, very intelligent, very good memory, very perceptive of things. So I am surprised yet again because I said during the episode that Yusa had no clue. As soon as you mentioned the nine eyes, I felt like Yusa or Udala would be like, the nine eyes? I've heard of this thing. But this has got to be some deep, dark thing that no one knows about. I mean, maybe the research will dig up something because we're talking about living, moving cities that are possibly organic, breathing, bleeding, and the eyes of nine. To me, that is the biggest thing. The Eyes of Nine, because the rest of it is all just crazy, dark, scary, cryptic type stuff. I just can't believe nobody, even the people of the highest levels of learning, have never even heard anything of it. We talked about Vakoto, we explained what it looked like and what the, the being itself appeared to be. And I don't know, I, I was watching Matt's expressions and it didn't look like, if Udala knew anything, I feel like she would have been like, well... I know something about this or that, or I don't know, maybe she wants to do the research and figure it out first, or maybe she does know something and she's like, holy shit, these people know too much about things they shouldn't. I don't know. But we have about 12 minutes left to the break. We're going to do that in the live stream. So we're going to sit down for 12 minutes and then stop the clock and jump into the final hour and 33 minutes on Friday. You guys want to see more of what I do? In the description of every video is a link for Patreon. You'll see the Patreon hour exclusive for every episode of Campaign 2. We finished recently Percy Jackson and Avatar live action. Same thing with True Detective Season 4. Currently, we're doing Shogun, Delicious a Dungeon, X-Men 97, and Hell of a Boss. All coming out weekly on the channel. Patreon full, YouTube, edited, obviously. 
hundreds of other movies and shows, Jackie Chan movies every month, maybe more than that. Check in the description, link for Patreon, full on edited everything. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.